What's up? Welcome back. We are building out a newsletter platform. Thanks so much for sticking around this far. In this episode, you'll learn how to add a, an integration that allows our Express connected account types to view the Express dashboard. We will add a pretty simple little button here to the UI underneath our payouts where we have the list of different accounts. We're going to add another button here to view the dashboard. So let's open up our, uh, our counts index. And instead of just having this edit button here, we will also add a button for dashboard. So we're just gonna copy this whole TD and we'll paste it down here. And the way that this works is we're going to hit the controller action inside of Rails that will make an API call to Stripe to create what's called a login link and then we'll redirect to that URL. So we are going to say, we'll call the button open, open dashboard or something, or yeah, open dashboard. Okay. And it's going to need its form authenticity token so that we can correctly authenticate. And then we also are going to need the Stripe account ID that is for the, the current account in the table. And instead of account links, we'll call this login links. So we need to go create a new controller, Rails G controller login links we'll open up our routes before we forget resources login links go to our login links controller and we will say before action we need to make sure that we have a user that is authenticated and then in the create action we're going to uh, create a login link with the stripe api then redirect to the login link Okay, so for this, we're gonna call create login link, the Stripe API, and it accepts in a Stripe account ID. So we're gonna say params account ID. Actually, okay, so we want to make sure that this account ID really belongs to the currently logged in user. Uh, so we wanna say something like current user.accounts.where the Stripe account ID is params account ID dot first that'll give us back the account and then we'll use that account dot stripe account id what this will do is um ensure that the account id they passed in actually belongs to them otherwise they might try to pass in someone else's account id and try to, to view their dashboard so this gives us just a little bit of protection um allow other hosts and i think that might be it. Let's see if this, let's see how this works. So now we should be able to open the dashboard and we are redirected to the Stripe Express authentication flow. Because we're in test mode, we can just use all zeros as our uh, code that was texted to us. And look at that. Here we see all of our payments coming in for uh, the newsletters that we're sending out. So we've got a few different readers who are subscribed and are. Uh, yeah, we're, we're accepting payments. So this is pretty cool. So we've got total earnings. We can view our transactions. And uh, yeah, we can even use the mobile app to, to manage these payments. So that is how we integrate with the Express dashboard. Relatively straightforward. And yeah, this is um, a pretty simple way for our users to just see which payments are coming in. So that's pretty cool. From your account settings here on the top right, authors can also go update their payout details. So if they wanted to, they could change their bank account that they're receiving payments out to. Um, so that is pretty handy if authors decide that they want to receive payments somewhere else. Okay, so let's go back to localhost 3000 and just take a look here. So we're gonna view our dashboard one more time. We've got newsletters, we've got um, issues that we are paying for. We have newsletters that we're paying for. We've got um, we can manage our billing, we can manage our payouts and our payments. So we are in a pretty good state. One other thing that you might want to consider is using these embeddable uh, UIs from Stripe. Uh, these connect, yeah, connect embeddable UI components let you drop in the experience directly into your application. So here is a view for payments. We could add that, for instance, directly inside of our our payouts view, right? We could have we could use this the payouts um, the payouts component. So there's several different components here that you can use. 
uh, let's see, right, payouts. So you could drop in this Stripe Connect payouts component and then use Stripe.js to fetch and initialize Stripe Connect. And that would be a, a way that you could visualize the payouts directly on this page. Um, okay, so this is looking pretty good. Again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.